Today we're in the woods with a 46 year old and a four year old. A little bit of a difference. We're uh, on the on the hill of Plenty in Mosine in the woods, looking at some corners. And we're gonna we're gonna compare each other cornering. <laughs> I like to think that I corner by breaking quite a bit, getting set up a little bit, and then letting the brakes off around the turn and hopefully carrying more speed out. I come too hard break into it and trying to save speed at the end and it's not supposed to be that way so trying yeah coming too excited that's my technique kids eh? uh, I think the techniques definitely changed yeah I mean obviously there's a lot more sort of berms on tracks now so the young kids just like to slap them and Shroud them and whatever else they call it these days. <laughs> oh. Oh. Bruh. Yeah. I break in the corner and that's the last thing you want to do. It's like coming, trying to be the perfect speed but then having to break in and you're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of the problems when you break in a turn is you, you break, you're leaned in and you're breaking and when you do break, it sends your weight up a little bit so you come out of it a little bit yeah. late. I'm gonna see it for him. But I would say I do that sometimes too. Um, you have to test the limit, so you, have, yeah. you you do sometimes. But I've seen like, I was watching 2012 recap, World Cup, and the, like all the tracks were just more old school, I guess. And you had to set up, break, and then carry speed through kind of shitty corners. Now it's like, they're all pretty good, and you just come in hot and trying to save as much speed as you can. So. Yeah, that's kind of what I see when I'm watching racing too now. Like all the World Cup tracks are, have got, where it used to be like an off camber turn and you had a few routes to get over, so you'd have to get set up and then let it go. Nowadays it's just a berm, so it's a lot more, a lot more supportive and a bit easier to ride. So when you're following Steve occasionally, Loris, like you always comment on how he sets up. Um, can you kind of describe what you see when Steve goes around the corner? Um, I feel like he's wasting time setting up. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I feel like his corner on the berm is really round. It's like set up a bit, no, no movement, like no bunny up, no nothing. Just wheels on the ground and make a nice round turn. And I feel like we set up too, but then. We just hit, you know, quick turn, and then we out. And he's just more like, oh, oh, you know? Yeah. So, more like carving, and we just more like, I don't know, motocross style. A little, little, little bit more <laughs> aggressive, where you just you use the center of the turn yeah. to, yeah. to like push off, whereas I try and use the whole turn, I suppose. I have to be smoother with my physique. <laughs> yeah. I can try and hang a little bit for some corners and then like I'll be I'll be setting up doing my nice round corners and then he just gaps a little bit on every turn because it's more aggressive and he hits them really hard and attacks the turns. Crikey. See how aggressive he is just he like he sits up solid and then he like comes in solid, doesn't look like he sets up much, but then he just rah, 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 just leans in and it's like powerful around turns, it's good to watch. Whereas I would set up and try and be smooth around it and get lent in early. Oh shit! Did you overturn this one a bit? Yeah. yeah. I was like, I attack it too much. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how hard did you go then? Coming in pretty hard, coming out pretty slow. <laughs> like we said, fuck. So 10 coming in, Yeah. then he overturned and yeah. came out about six. <laughs> that turn tightens up quite a lot, so he was really aggressive around it. And because it tightens up a lot, it, it wallowed a little bit and then he overturned coming out of it. And there's a tree there, so he had to turn back around the tree a little bit. Young mistakes. <laughs> you hit that hard. 
How? Yeah. Kevin Hart. Strong. My mouth is dry. Did you just drop in from above bridge on that burn? I'm not saying. I bet you went to the tabletop and sprinted in. There's like a fire rod on the left. I just came from there and cut back to the track. <laughs> I'm not saying. Do you find like when you're at the top of a race run, for example, like you have to just like calm yourself because you don't want to go too hard? Is it too easy to get overexcited? Um, the problem on racing is like you're not as confident. I am not. I'm like, fuck, do I know how to ride anymore? Like. <laughs> So the first few meters, I'm like trying not to, you know, to, trying to feel good. And then after you get, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> too, too excited. Cool. So I'm walking on it, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was like old school fucking fast. <laughs> like the, car the speed he carries there was fucked. Emmanuel out, almost ready. Was sick. He does did the PE power wheelie pedal yeah. as well. I'm uh, don't know what to say. <laughs> I need to go home. <laughs> yeah. The exit exit speed there. Fuck me, that was insane. Yeah, I slowed down a lot in that one though. Yeah, but and then picked back up here. Yeah. You don't want to do like me, because you've watched me before. That's why. <laughs> his technique is the same, like he's just his body, it's like a bit older. Yeah, I'm good for two turns, not four. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Steve was fast. <laughs> How good are you at shralping at your old age? I'm absolutely shocking at shralping. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't, can't figure it out, I don't know how to do it. I'm like, what's the point in knifing a turn and losing all your speed? I'm like, I'm not that fit these days, I want to carry all my speed, not knock it off in the middle of the turn. <laughs> How about you? Um, when I try, I'm going over the bar. So um, I'd rather not try too hard. <laughs> no, like 90 degrees, I don't know how to do it. A little bit more, less a degree, like actually more. Um, okay, yes, I'm not that great. He pretends he can't do it, but I'm pretty sure he, he's good. Shroud, start line. What do you think the technique is? I don't know, I can't figure it out. <laughs> You just have to throw it in and try and bend your back wheel. Okay. That one, didn't that feel like it did a little bit? That was sick. <laughs> I don't know how it did it, but it happened. No pressure, Lois. I know it's, it's going to be, he's going to be better, so. Just need to get it done. Shroud it, Loris. God, sir. Yeah, little one. Yep. <laughs> Yours is better. I think his bike's set, set up too good for shroud pit. It just grips. Yours was cool. Yours did. Do one together. Gonna try again. Leave from there and. You gonna shroud again? Yep. He's gonna have another shroud go. Wasn't happy with the first one, this one could be good. <laughs> Shroud! <laughs> that was better. Good Shroud, lad. Cool. <laughs> Shroud thing works, you have to shout Shroud. <laughs> <laughs> Did you shout too? In my head. Shroud cam doesn't lie. Could you see the tire flex a little bit? Oh. I kind of missed the tire by <laughs> <laughs> Cool. You can't, yeah. I bet you could see it. Just. It's not like a 90 degree, like I said. I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 